I'm about to enter this slot canyon. If you guys wanna come join me, welcome to the Mono Plus. Let's check it out. Today's adventure has us about an hour and a half from the downtown Toronto core. This is one that has been on my to-do list for quite a while. The reviews are mixed, right? And I've been to some other places that are very similar, so I wasn't in a big rush, but we needed to get out, we needed to have some fun. I thought I'd bring you along with me today, check out this new location. Let's see the model cliffs. We are doing a combination of three different trails um, with the carriage trail, uh, cliff top, side trail, spillway trail. So far this trail seems to be nice, big, open, accessible for people. It's definitely icy today, gotta be careful. But so far it looks easy. The combination that we're doing today, I believe is like a 10 kilometer hike. So you get a few good hours out of it. It's a good day trip from Toronto. Um, well, at least we'll find out if it's a good one. <laughs> come into a nice beautiful forest and now heading down along the escarpment edge which is always so cool to see it just feels like it's out of place in Ontario but and that's what's supposed to make this hike magical I would also like to add before we get too far for those of you who haven't been here yet or even the ones that have in the past um, Ontario last year in August I believe made some changes to a lot of these smaller provincial parks that had just like the pay with an app type parking now have these automatic gates and you have to go to the government website to pay for your day pass or your parking permit um, and then you just scan your barcode at the gate when I was coming in we actually waited for a couple of cars because they had to go online and do it all ahead of time so we're just sitting there <sighs> for like 10 minutes. So uh, I wanted to give you guys a heads up so you don't end up in that situation. Check the Ontario Parks website first. Make sure there is, you know, if there's an automatic gate that you have paid ahead of time. Otherwise, you're gonna be stuck outside the park, right? <laughs> okay, so that wasn't the most accessible trail um, I've ever walked. After a while, she went uphill and it was pretty uh, icy. I can imagine pretty muddy in the springtime. <sighs> I'll get my butt wet for a second. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we've explored pretty much whatever there is to see for the main attractions here at Mono Cliff. It connects to the Bruce Trail, so honestly, you could just add this to a part of a huge adventure. Um, but I can see why people have said maybe in the past that this place isn't all that much to see. Like it is, you know, a lookout at the top of this hill. You come down this beautiful staircase right here into like a small slot canyon. But really like it's just a small section of slot canyon. So maybe that's why people said before in the past that this wasn't really the most uh, 
to see, but ultimately like it's still beautiful. It was a really nice hike. I'm still only three quarters of the way done and it's starting to get dark. So we're near the end of this adventure. I'm just gonna boogie it out of here, grab a couple more shots on the way out, but uh, I bet it looks way nicer in the fall. <laughs> I had a great time. 10 kilometers, I would say, is that perfect sweet spot. You guys could easily get it done in three to four hours. Make a half day of it. Do your Sunday shopping afterwards and go home. Hope you guys enjoyed this experience. If you have any questions, make sure to put them in the comment section below. And um, I'll see you in the next adventure. Peace.